Good afternoon, students. Once again, I welcome you for the online classes. In the previous week, we had learned about we have learned about the same topic that is Earth, our living planet. Previously, we heard up to the latitudes and the longitudes. So, I'm going to continue the same chapter today. We are going to look after the three things. Okay, the four things about the longitudes and the time, local time, standard time, and time zones, and international date line. When we read this, the whole chapter is going to be completed. Let us go to the first point that is the longitudes and the time. You might be thinking that what is in the previous explanation, I was giving you the explanation and I was telling you about there is a you know, with all latitudes and longitudes are the reason to find out the position of the, any country on the continent. So, with this, we will understand, you know, but today we are going to see how the longitudes are important us to have a time. Understand? There is a definite relation between the, you know, the 360 degree longitudes and the 24 hours of time. How do we got to know there is a 24 hours and there is a 360 degrees of longitudes? You know, that is all through when we understand the longitudes and the time, we will come to know the exact pictures of how it is. Okay, there are exactly 24 hours in a day. There are 360 degree longitudes are available. Okay. So in the previous explanation you heard, there are 360 longitudes are there and we know according to the time, we have a 24 hours in our one day. You know, every 4 minute, 1 degree, every 4 minute, we reach or cross 1 degree. 1 degree equals to 4 minute. 1 degree equals to here, 4 minute. That means for every 60 minutes, okay, for every 60 minutes, we are reaching 15 degrees. We are reaching the 15 degrees. When we come and calculate this thing, then we know that there are 360 degrees and into 4, it becomes 1440, you know, the minutes. When 1440 minutes, it takes a time, 1440 minutes of time it takes to reach the 360 degree. Then when we divided it for an per hour, it is a 60, when we divide it by 60 minutes, then it comes to known as 24 hours. Let me explain you this again. We have a total longitude of 360 longitudes. One minute for every degree. Okay, so we are taking the four minutes for every degree. This four we multiply it to 360 because every one degree is multiplied with 360, then it goes to the 1440 degrees. 1440 degrees. Then in a one hour we have a 60 minutes. The 60 minutes it is divided by 1440. It comes directly 24 hours. Now we have a 24 hours in a day and 360 long. Hope you understood now. You know, EGA, it is what is this EGA? EGA is an East Game Act. It is an East Game Act. As we know that people who travel from west to east. They gain a time. Now people, you know, here to here one who is traveling, eastern people, when they're going to the western side, they gain a time. That means today is a date we say it is a 70 today, 9 and 20. When you travel towards the western side, then even you, need, you are not going to lose your day, you are going to gain the day. Okay. You will be here for again 17, 9, 20. So, 
it is a gain time. People who come from West, okay, WLS, West, lose, subtract. It's got West, lose, subtract. People who come from West to East, they lose a time. They lose a time. You know, they lose a time. There's a 12 hours. There, there, there's a difference between the West to East. We have a different time zones. That we will come to know in the local time zone, time zones, and standard time zones, and time zones, and uh, international day time. Here it is going to teach us about how the time we works. Okay. So hope you understood this thing. And now we will come to understand the matter of local time. Okay, it's local time. You know, local time is at a time where the sun of the position, where the sun of a position. You know, exactly the position of the sun in a particular place. It's a position of the sun in a particular place where exactly the vertically the rays of sun towards that exactly we see the 12 moon. Okay, at that position. Do you know, it's just, it's just, uh, when we see the, it's a, think it's the eastern side and it's the western side. Think it is just. Because we see the east sun arises, when the sun is on the top of the head, sun is on the top of your head. What is the top of your head? We see the, exactly. The sun is in the position, right position of that particular area. That particular area is known as the 12 moon. When the sun is exactly on our top of the head, we call it as the 12 of the moon. Okay, so this is called the sun position. You know, it is not sun is taking a changing its location, it is the earth because of its rotation around the sun. It differs, it takes the round around the sun. So, the, by this, we have a different time zones. By this, we have a different times. So let us see. Today, that will be understand by the standard time. That we can understand to the standard time. So, this is a local, this is considered sun position in a particular place. It is a local time. It is called as the local time. Every country has its own time. Every country as its own time. You know, it, it is very difficult to tell them, it is very difficult to understand the local time to every country. For example, India, India has a different time zone, Saudi has a different time zone, okay, America has a different time zone, again, Israel has a different time zone. When we compare to them and us, it becomes a different time zone. So, we don't carry them and now, by saying, where in the afternoon in America, we cannot say same time is in America. It is a different time. It is all local time. That, that is given as a name. That is a local time. But to avoid this confusion, avoid the confusion of a particular place, there is a standard time has been initiated. This is initiated for a name to avoid the time course. So standard time has been brought into its position. So today, to avoid the confusion, every city has their important time settings. Okay. See, in what it is the what we can say, how we can calculate the time. You know, again we will come to the longitude. Again it comes to the longitude. You know, the longitude which passes in the India, we will take an example of India, the city of India where it has its own standard time that is 82 and a half degree the, the east longitude east longitude which passes in India east longitude as I told you that there are 360 longitudes in that the number ok 82 we see that 180 at the Okay, in this 180 at the eastern side, 180 at the western side. So, at the eastern side, number 82 and half, number 82 and half degree, 
that one is passing through an India, that Indian city which is called Allahabad of UP. Allahabad of UP, where it is the standard type of that state, that country. This is the standard type of that country. So, our time zone in India, when it compared to the, you know, just local time, you don't consider, okay, local time, also we can set this. So, this is our local time as a standard time in our country that is based on the 82 and a half when it compared to the zero longitude, when it compared to the zero longitude like GMT, when it is called as the GMT, meaning which we time. We are 5 hours 30 minutes ahead. Okay. We are ahead than this. People who come from 0 degree to here, 5 minutes, 30 minutes we are ahead. And when we go back there, we lose a time. Okay. So we gain a time and lose a time. This is GMT and IST. It is also called GMT and IST. Indian Standard Time based on 82 and half. 82 and half degree, 5 hour 30 minutes ahead of GMT which is known as the Indian. So it is based on the particular city that is Allahabad. Now you got to know that like longitude has a definite relation with the longitude. This longitude has a definite relation with the time zones. Okay. So it is clear that I completely, you know, will come to know, when we come to know about the time zones, then you will go clear something about the time time. So the time zones, what is this time zones? Okay, every country has its own time zones. The whole globe, the whole globe, when we travel the whole globe, it is declared that whole globe has a 24 hour time zones. Why? Let us see. 45 degree, when we, in a 360 degree, when we cross every 45 degree, there is a 3 to 4 hours of differences we can see. Once again I repeat it. In 360 degrees, when we cross 45 degree, then we see there is a 3 to 4 hours of differences in a time. That means, in the whole globe, the latitude when it crosses, okay, the latitudes when it crosses, the longitudes, you see, okay, particularly from this place to the another, from one longitude to the another longitude, it takes, it takes a 4 minute for every 1 degree. For one longitude to one longitude, it's a four minute. Then, 45 degree, it takes three to four hours. To whole of the globe, to complete it, 360, it takes a 24 hours. It takes a 24 hours. It takes a 24 hours. This is how, like, you can understand the time zone system. This is a time zone. See, every country. In some country, the time zones are more like big countries. You can say, in the globe, we have a Russia. A country like Russia, it has a more time zones. The country like Russia, it has a more time zones. Certainly, they are not matched. When we compare to the other countries, the Russia country, it is having a more, that is of, we can say, 11 time zones in Russia. How many? In Russia, we have a 11 time zones. Single country, but because it's a long, you know, longitude to cross each, there are 7 longitudes. So there's a time zones are 7. But in India, we have 1. Okay, because we in our country, one longitude I added, then another longitude, it is very far away. So that is the reason we have a one time zone in our country. 
So we follow the Allahabad of Uttar Pradesh as a one banker. When we compare that again to the USA, Canada, Australia have you know uh, vast longitude extent, therefore they have different time zones. Russia 11, USA and Canada 5, Australia has 3 time zones. US, Canada 5 time zones. Okay. And Australia have 3 time zones. Three side, three side, three side. These are the time zones. 11 time zones, 5 time zones, and 3 time zones. Why it is like that? The different time zones are because to the longitude which passes in their country. Longitude which passes in their country. And uh, if 11 time zones are in one country, then how will they manage their time zones? So therefore, to avoid the confusion, it is very important to follow the local map and therefore every country has come to one conclusion to understand that to make an IST okay that is this is we we make as the Indian standard time then if it is Russia RST Russian standard time if it is America A okay America standard time AST if it is Canada CST Okay, Canada standard time. See, every country they have made their own time zone according to their particular longitude which passes in their country. So this is how that time zones can be time can be uh, accepted universally. So whole universally we see one time that is the Greenwich Mean Time (GMT). Why GMT? GMT is at a time okay where the zero degree. You know, GMT helps us to understand the time zones. The time zones towards west, time zone towards east. That also can be cleared by understanding the international red line. The people have confusion when they travel from boat, ship. The people who are traveling from plane, even they get some confusion of the time zones. You know, it is uh, when you. When you're traveling through a sea, when you're traveling through the oceans, you will be surprised. International red line is very important to understand us the time and your. You will have a difference of time zones in these two places. Okay. Two. So many problems were there for people to understand and to solve this. Standard times have been brought into zonal level. Standard time has been solve the problem of the global level. If the standard time was not there, so today people were misunderstanding the times, dates, like dates and times were misunderstood by the people. It is very difficult for the people like who are traveling by boat. What is the date? What is the time? At right time. It will be very because every position of the globe it changes the time. Every place of the uh, position of the earth, it gives an end. 24 time zones. So again, the times also been uh, changes. When we see, okay, uh, problem keeping the correct deadline fit for the traveler. There is a 180 degree meridian. As I told you that, the 180 meridian, the meridian line for a globe. The meridian line of the globe has given a best way to solve the time problem of the country. Today, the meridian line is, is 180 at this side, 180 at this side. This line has chosen for a base for understanding the time. Okay. So meridian opposite to the GMT. It is the opposite towards the GMT. It is an opposite towards the GMT. Adapted as a point where circumnavigators, okay, circumnavigators should make an adjustment. This line is supposed to pass Pacific Ocean along with the 180 meridian. This can be seen when you watch the textbook or the page number 168. The map is given over here so that exactly the whole world is having an division. We can see the lines are like dividing the, you know, the exact line is going in the exact way to understand the time form. 
how the world is divided into two time zones. Okay, so where they can exactly opposite to the 180 meridian line, as a GMT time. Okay, so when we come to know that the it is in the Pacific Ocean boundary, and we see uh, this is known as the international date line. This line, what we see, the world is divided. So this line itself is known as the international date line. People who travel from this place, people who travel from here, from this line, they will get the clearance of that, you know, the position. So this line is a way to understand the time zones at the eastern side, time zones at the western side. So this is this has solved the problem. And the people whenever Whenever they were traveling to an east from the west, from east to west, they will lose a day. They will lose a day when they come from west to east. People who travel from east to west, they will gain a day. They will gain a day. That is one. It is called, okay, it, it is called as the EGA, East Gain Act. It is called EGA, East Gain Act. That is waste lose supply. Means people who are traveling from here, they will they have to lose that day. The day for them it will be the day and time of the day here and night here. Okay. Night here, the day that time. So this is why they will be missing the uh, dates and the times. Okay. So now anyone who is traveling by boat he can understand why at the point of this. International date line. International date line is an important for people for ship traveler navigator to understand that we are crossing into the another time zone. So, whereas day and night can be seen in this specific Anyone, anybody who stop. So, hope you understood that what is the you know the earth are moving back. In the yesterday's and previous explanation we have seen, Earth, our only living planet. It is a unique planet, it's a blue planet, it's a watery planet because of its futures. Okay. So earth size, we have seen that the earth is an end. We have seen the total earth, you know, in a diameter 510 million square kilometer in the previous explanation. And also we have heard that like, you know earth's various features distribute within a various natural beauty. So today we have learned about the Longitudes and time relation between the earth uh, relation between the longitude and the time. So the local time is based on the sun position, standard time is based on the award the transition, based on the city that crosses the important meridian longitude line. Okay, that is in India 82 and a half. Keep in mind in exam most of the time this is the line which is always being asked. Okay, 82 and a half degree allowed of duty. And an international rate line, which is known as the, you know, base for understanding the people who travel from east to west and west to east to understand the time differences. And to solve this all, you know, today the whole world is uh, having a standard time is followed by every time. And this is what we see the complete structural of an higher. So now. So students, you need to keep reading the book. Once as you go through our explanation, once again it is book, checking through the textbook lines because you need to be familiar with the words. That word need to be in your mind. It is called the ideal, means international date line. So like that the words can be seen here. Compare with the question answers and try to read them, understand them. And also if you get any doubt, you get any time to re listen to the videos and uh, re if you can uh, through the book, also you can just approach it anywhere you have to feel difficult to understand the chapters. So, we are going to have a next, we are going to meet with another chapter. So, till then, like, uh, have a great time. Thank you. One and all. Bye bye.